Anthony DiGiulio, yeah. uh, I have a question for you. How do you feel about what Tommy DeVito is doing for the state of Italians across the country? DeVito keeps it himself, and he scores! DeVito throws, caught, Barkley! This young man is playing extremely well. This kid is showing that maybe well, he belongs. Yeah. Tommy DeVito. Tommy Cutlets. Cutlets. Cutlets, huh? Of course, number one. <laughs> I like to eat them straight up, to be honest. Fresh out of the fridge, cold from the day after. I don't mind that. Whatever you want to call him, he is making his mark with the New York Giants. Less than two months ago, DeVito was a non-factor in the NFL. Now, he's one of the most talked about players in the league. DeVito is having a Lin Sanity run. He's everyone's favorite Italian. He's everyone's favorite Italian. He's everyone's favorite Italian who lives at home with his parents and has an agent that is an Italian Jerry Maguire. Tommy DeVito is the new Taylor Heineke, the guy that comes out of nowhere and nobody expects anything from and becomes a fan favorite. Behind DeVito, the Giants somehow won three straight and stuck around fighting for the playoffs. He's responsible for nine touchdowns, and more impressively, he somehow has made the Giants fun to watch. A lot of people didn't even know who Tommy DeVito was a couple of months ago. Now, you can't even scroll on social media without seeing a post about him. Tommy DeVito signed with the New York Giants as an undrafted free agent. He was waived, but was reassigned to the practice squad. Daniel Jones ended up missing time because of a neck injury, and backup Tyrod Taylor took over. Then, in week 8 against the Jets, Tyrod hurt his ribs, and Tommy DeVito was thrown into NFL action for the first time. So Tommy DeVito, undrafted rookie out of Illinois, who began his career at Syracuse, Making his NFL debut. Welcome to the show, kid. And it didn't go well. He only completed two of seven passes and was sacked twice. But he did rush for the Giants' only touchdown of the game. DeVito was signed to the active roster, but Daniel Jones did return the following week. He just didn't last very long. He tore his ACL one play into the second quarter in week nine, and it was back to Tommy DeVito for good this time. Welcome to Arlington. It's America's Game of the Week here with the New York Giants taking on the Dallas Cowboys. His first career start came versus the Cowboys. That was not an easy task, and it went exactly how you'd expect. Dallas won 49 to 7 and DeVito only passed for 86 yards and threw an interception, but he did also pass for two touchdowns. It was exactly what we all thought was going to happen. Nobody expected much from a bad Giants team or Tommy DeVito, but then everything changed. DeVito fires, looking for Barkley, end zone! He's got it! Touchdown! In week 11, DeVito went 18 of 26 and threw three touchdowns. Despite getting sacked nine times, the Giants beat the Commanders 31 to 19. Fast forward one week, and the Giants won a 10-7 snooze fest over the Patriots. Again, DeVito did enough, passing for 191 yards and a touchdown while going 17 of 25. The Tommy DeVito hype began to swirl after back-to-back -back wins, and then, well, it hit a high. To go about it for the Giants. Here's a flea flicker as DeVito throws, and a nice adjustment by Robinson. On Monday Night Football, DeVito was on full display going 17 of 21 for 158 yards and a touchdown rushing for 71 yards and route to being named nfc offensive player of the week not only did the giants beat the packers 24 to 22 but tommy devito led a game-winning drive with about a minute and a half remaining in less than two months 
Tommy DeVito went from a practice squad undrafted rookie to one of the biggest stories in football. Everybody loves a good underdog story, but what makes Tommy DeVito even cooler is he grew up in the Giants' backyard rooting for them. Tommy DeVito was born on August 7th, 1998 in Livingston, New Jersey. Even now, DeVito lives with his parents in Cedar Grove, New Jersey, in his childhood home about 11 miles from MetLife Stadium. Him still living at home, despite being a starting quarterback in the NFL, quickly became a national story. It's relatable. It's a four bedroom, three bathroom, two story property that was built in 1963. A lot of people view professional athletes as these rich, famous people. But by all accounts, Tommy DeVito has just come off as another guy that happens to play quarterback for the Giants. He said that everything he needs is at his house. And it makes sense because the NFL is so stressful for a rookie. DeVito really only has to worry about football. His his mom makes his bed and he doesn't have to worry about laundry or what he's eating for dinner. DeVito loves chicken cutlets and has earned the nickname Tommy Cutlets thanks to Saquon Barkley. Tommy DeVito has quickly, quickly become known for his love of Italian food and his finger pinch hand gesture. The legend of Tommy DeVito has grown past just himself too. His family is all over the place. You know his dad, Danny DeVito. <laughs> Okay, that's not his dad. If you've watched the games, you've probably seen his dad, Tom, who is a third generation plumber, his mom, Alexandra, and brother, Max, who actually played Division Three football. As a senior in 2021 at Sal Virginia, he was a first team all CCC return specialist and second team all CCC receiver. Tommy DeVito's family looks exactly how you'd expect. It's like you're watching an episode of The Sopranos. DeVito and his family are are making waves with their Italian heritage, and even his agent, Sean Stellato, is now all over social media. Stellato played two seasons in the Arena Football League before he created a sports agency. He's negotiated with every NFL team and has represented many players, including two-time Pro Bowler Alfred Morris. Now he's front and center with the success of Tommy DeVito as he's celebrating with his family in the stands by kissing Tommy DeVito's dad on the cheek and taking calls on the field, looking like a member of the mob with his Frank Sinatra fedora on. A lot of the media attention around Tommy DeVito is making him even bigger. But a lot of people might remember him from his college days. For his final year in college, Tommy DeVito decided to transfer to Illinois to play for Brett Bielma. He was named the starting quarterback during fall practices and started every game for the Fighting Illini. Illinois got off to a hot start and won seven of their first eight. Through the first four games of the season, DeVito already had nine touchdowns passes to just two interceptions. He followed it up with a three rushing touchdown game against Wisconsin. Then after a nine to six thriller versus Iowa, suddenly Illinois was ranked. They appeared in the AP poll at 24 and got as high as 16 ahead of a game against Michigan State. Then the wheels fell off for Illinois. They lost three straight, but were still playing well. Only losing to number three Michigan by two points is a moral victory at least. The fighting Illini finished the regular season with a blowout win over Northwestern and then lost to number 22 Mississippi State and the Relia Quest Bowl. In all, Illinois finished 8-5, their best record since 2007. It helped that there was some NFL talent on the roster, especially on the defense. Three defensive backs got drafted, Devin Witherspoon, Jartavius Martin, and Sidney Brown. The only other fight in Illinois that was drafted in 2023 was running back Chase Brown. Now, they surely helped, but Tommy DeVito still had a big part in the team's success. He had an Illinois record 69.6 .6 completion percentage and passed for 2,650 yards, 15 touchdowns, and four interceptions. DeVito ended up applying a waiver for another year of eligibility, but it was denied. Tommy DeVito did make a big impact in his one season at Illinois, but he spent the majority of his collegiate career at Syracuse. Tommy DeVito committed to Dino Babers and Syracuse 
Syracuse as a four-star recruit in the 2017 recruiting class. He was considered the eighth best pro-style quarterback in the class, two spots ahead of Kenny Pickett, and nine spots ahead of Mac Jones. Both of those guys win the first round of the NFL draft, and Tommy DeVito is now outplaying them as an undrafted rookie. Maybe the scouts are right after all. Tommy DeVito was a two-year starter in high school at Don Bosco Prep. He passed for 1,800 yards and 18 touchdowns as a junior. Then after the season, he completed in the Elite 11 quarterback competition and was a finalist among some other notable names like Tua Tungavailoa. Then DeVito got even better as a senior, throwing for over 2,000 yards, 16 touchdowns, and he played in the Under Armour All-American game. DeVito had power five offers from Boston College, Maryland, Rutgers, and Wake Forest, but chose Syracuse. DeVito redshirted his true freshman year. The following season, he was the backup to Eric Dungy, but saw some playtime. Dungy got hurt against Florida State. DeVito came in and passed and rushed for a touchdown in a blowout win. Again, DeVito relieved an injured Dungy versus North Carolina and passed for 181 yards, three touchdowns, and an interception in a double overtime win. Syracuse played Notre Dame at Yankee Stadium and just got rolled. Dungy was hurt in that game too, and DeVito struggled after coming in. He had a 45.2 completion percentage and threw two picks. Finally, Tommy DeVito took over as the Orange's starting quarterback in 2019. Syracuse started the season at 22 in the AP poll, and after a 24-0 win over Liberty, where DeVito struggled and threw two picks, they moved up one spot. Then, the Orange got blown out by Maryland and number one Clemson back-to-back. -back. DeVito passed for eight touchdowns and rushed for another over the next two games against Western Michigan and Holy Cross. Tommy DeVito didn't really do much early in conference play, but then he responded with seven touchdowns passing and a rushing touchdown in three games to start November. DeVito ultimately put together a good season, with a 63.2 completion percentage, 19 touchdowns, and five interceptions. Syracuse did miss out on a bowl at 5-7, and seven, and if you think that was bad, Syracuse went 1-10 in, in 2020. Tommy DeVito started the Orange's first four games of the season and threw four touchdowns to two interceptions before he went down with a broken ankle against Duke, ending his season. DeVito recovered and started Syracuse's first three games in 2021, but struggled, throwing a single touchdown and two interceptions. He was replaced by Garrett Schrader and decided to enter the transfer portal. Clearly, transferring from Syracuse to Illinois was the right decision for Tommy DeVito because it got him to New York where his story has taken over the NFL, and maybe this is just the beginning.